first, just let me say, check this place out. This place is awesome. So essentially what this place is, is it's a dam. So there's this huge dam that goes like all the way over here. But then they like made steps for giants. It's like crazy, it's the weirdest thing ever. It's so cool. Um, I fished out here a couple times before when I was in high school, little to no success. Wow, look at this. People come out and do graffiti on these things all the time. Uh, but, out of breath. It's like preteen kind of FU type stuff. But like some of it's actually kind of cool and kind of good. Like, yeah, skulls and stuff. It's very weird, but it's very cool. And I guess I've never really appreciated it when I came out here during high school. You know, I was just focused on fishing. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. I'm out here fishing. I fished this before. I fished it when I was in high school, but recently I was just told that it's turned on and there's a bite going on. So I'm gonna get to fishing, but this, amount of cement type thing is absolutely crazy. Like I've never experienced, I don't know how I want to describe it. Um, it's just weird and kind of cool. Like it's cement all the way over there and it's like steps so it like builds up. It's not just like a solid cement wall, which is, I don't know. It's definitely in the middle of nowhere and I'm geeking way too hard over it, but it's cool, it's weird, I don't know. Can't explain it. All right, after geeking out way too hard over this place, for a place that's essentially just kind of a driftwood spot, and I'm gonna apologize in advance. There's a dam with a waterfall that's making it, uh, this is gonna be really loud and annoying, so hopefully it won't be too loud, you'll be able to hear. Wow, I already see a smallmouth. Not a bad one. Oh, I just got weight. I just got weight. Big wake. Usually I like throwing this on a bait cast so I can walk a little bit better because I'm right, normally real right-handed but left-handed when it comes to spinning, which I need to... F oh, got drilled, I'm on! Oh, it's a good smallie. Good smallie. Come here, come here. Oh, he spit it! Oh my gosh, he spit it. What was I doing? That, ladies and gentlemen, is not how you... Oh, gosh, he spit it. That's good they're hitting the popper, though. That's cool. Big camo. Smallmouth finesse jigs. Smallmouths and poppers. Title of the video, mm, possibly smallmouth poppers, smallmouth finesse jigs. We'll see. I'm definitely gonna fish this place for, oh geez. I almost died. All right. Biggin, 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 biggin. I can't move him. Oh my God, he's huge. He's huge. Oh, 
Oh, my reel. Oh, my gosh. What is it? Dude, this is a huge, if this is a small mouth, it's huge. I can't move him. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Is it a pike? It might be a pike. Oh my gosh, it's a huge carp. I snagged a huge carp. Oh my gosh. He's, look at him. I snagged a huge carp. Oh my God. Oh my God. Come here. Oh, huge carp. Get out of there. Come on. Oh my gosh. No way. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, I snagged him. That sucks, but oh my gosh. Come here. Come here. Oh my gosh, come here. Come here. Come here, come here. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Look at that carp. Oh gosh, look at that carp, it's huge, oh my god, the release, gosh I wish I could get a picture. There he goes, no way. I just caught easily the biggest fish of my life. I don't even know. Dude, huge car. I don't even know what to say. On a jig, snagged him. On X, like I wish I didn't snag him, but I mean a carp, like really snag, like on a jig, carp on a jig. Huge carp. That, I don't even know what to say. That was awesome. Get back to smallmouth fishing though, for sure. I guess I'm going to talk a little bit about 
but I did today. The only fish I caught on that jig was a carp, which I now believe is a, the bulk of what I caught smallmouth related, especially in creek time when it starts to get warmer out in the spring and summertime. I like switching to like a walking popper. I've talked about this before. It's a, a basically like a small walking bait with a pop, like a cup mouth on the front. It's a walking paycheck. I got it from Lucky Tackle Box, but you can find it easily on Tackle Warehouse. The setup that I was using was a seven foot medium light Daiwa Arid X with a Lose American Hero uh, spinning reel. 20 pound braid. I like, if I'm throwing a popper, especially on Creek, I like to go small braid, so 20, 30 pound. Three pound might still be too much. Anything like 15, 20 pound braid, I'd like to go to. Uh, just because it floats on top of that water, that strong current there at the end, I was making it go through very erratically, very aggressively, to kind of replicate like a, like a bait fish that's getting thrown around in that strong water. Uh, when I was out in a little more still water, a little more of those pockets where the water, the current wasn't as strong, I'd work it a little bit slower. So just vary your retrieves if you're doing that. And uh, uh, if you have a PB for carp, I guess I broke my PB today, so that's good. Uh, I got out, look at this. You can't see anymore because it's dry, but like my feet and my boots are filled with water. So it was a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous day, 70 degrees to get out here. Thanks for watching. Get out, rig, some, rig something up and go rip some lips. I'll see you next time. For some reason I think all the old farmers think that I'm their buddy because I drive Walt and Walt looks like an old man truck but hey Walt gets it. <laughs>